For the last part of our GPS locator app, we need to initialize screen one properly. So anytime we initialize screen one, we'll go find that in our drawer here and pull out the screen one initialize block. Now the first thing we need to do in this case is create a definition. So we'll go back to the built-in tab and find our definition variable block. And I'm gonna rename that right away. We'll call it temp address. And then we'll put a text block in the end here. So we've created our definition. Now we need to go to my definitions and find our definition. Here's our temp address definition and plug that in. Now the next step is to have our tiny database get the value for our address. So we'll find our tiny database here and we want to use the dot get value block. We'll plug that in here and we just want to find the address so we'll add a simple text block here and type in the word address. The next part's going to get a little bit tricky but we need to go to our built-in tab and find our control palette and pull out an if block. We'll put that in here and we've got two different sockets. We've got test up here and then we've got a then do down here. And to start filling out our test socket we need to go to our math drawer and find a greater than block. If you remember from math in uh, your primary school, greater than points to the right, less than points to the left. And next we need to go find a text block and it's going to be the call length block is what we want to pull in. We'll plug that in and we want to find our temp address definition and this time we're going to use the gray one because that's the one that's going to fit in here. And then on the right side of the greater than symbol, we want to put a zero. So if anything is greater than a zero, uh, what we're going to put in here is actually going to happen. So we'll go find our math blocks, grab a number block, I'll plug it in here, and then I'll just change that number to zero. So next we want to find our remembered address data label, and we'll pull out a dot text block. And we're going to start filling out our then do socket. And actually we want another one of these blocks, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and we'll plug it in here. And next we're going to find our remembered lat label and we'll pull out a dot text block. Put that down below the data label dot text block. Next we're going to call on our tiny database to get a value for us. And in this case we want it to get the latitude. So we'll plug a text block in there. We'll put in lat. It's a nice shorthand way of plugging in that information. And we're going to do the same thing with our remembered longitude label. Pull out a dot text block. And we're going to just copy this here. Our database is going to get the value, not latitude, but longitude. So L-O-N-G. And lastly, we're going to set our directions button to be enabled again. So we'll put a directions button dot enabled block there. And we want it to be enabled, so we'll pull out a true block and tell App Inventor that that is true. So as you probably know by now, when you set the screen one initialize, what you're doing is telling the app what to do when it turns on. When the app initializes is when it turns on. And what we've just done here with the databases is a little bit easier to understand when you think that the user of your app is going to open the app, click on their location, and then close the app go somewhere else, and then at that other location, they're going to open up that app again. So you need this information stored in a database. So if we follow the logic of these blocks here, when screen one initializes, we want the temporary address to get a value from the database, and that value is the address. And if we go down here, if there is actually a value stored in the database, that length of the temporary address is going to be greater than zero. So if, in fact, that is the case, that location is going to be recorded. And then what we're doing down here in the then do area is simply telling the app what we want to display. So if there is indeed a value that was stored, we want the remembered address dot text label to show that temporary address. We want the latitude label to show whatever the value is for the latitude, similarly with the longitude. And then lastly, we do want the directions button to be enabled because that person is pulling up the app for a second time and wants to be able to click that directions button to get directions back to their car or wherever it is they started.